Welcome viewers for visiting my channel. Perhaps of the best surveyor in America as of late emerged with its most recent study, and its uplifting news for Kamala Harris. Selzer & Co's Des Moines Register, Mediacom Iowa poll found that Donald Trump led the vice president by 47% to 43%, within the margin of error, in a state that the former president has comfortably won twice. The survey was led last week, before Sunday's obvious death endeavor against Trump. While the Hawkeye state is probably not going to be essential in November, the way that Selzer found a nearby race in a state Trump has overwhelmed could flag beneficial things for Harris, both as far as the exactness of surveying and for her possibilities in nearby Wisconsin. What compels the Selzer study so significant is that it's been precise in a time when different surveyors have battled. Quite a while back, it had Trump up in Iowa by seven days before the political decision, when different surveys had liberal Joe Biden in a greatly improved position. I noted at the time that this one survey is giving Trump patrons trust and liberals uneasiness. Leftists had valid justification to stress. In addition to the fact that Trump ended up winning Iowa by eight, he likewise immeasurably outflanked his surveying in Wisconsin almost winning a state where he had followed by high single digits in pre-election surveying. Trump would improve in numerous other milestone states also. A comparable situation worked out in 2016. In the most recent poll by Selzer, Trump had a 7-point lead in Iowa. He proceeded to win the state by 9 and the political decision over Hillary Clinton, showing improvement over most swing state studies said he would. This year, a many individuals, myself included, have puzzled over whether there could be another surveying fizzle. Indeed, even as numerous surveyors have attempted to change how they lead and additionally weight their surveys to forestall what occurred in 2016 and 2020, they may as yet miss the point. Selser's most recent Iowa survey, in any case, recommends that different surveyors who show a race that is a photo finish are not misjudging Trump as of now. The outcome additionally appears to be legit when you take a gander at the numbers emerging from adjoining Wisconsin, which has tantamount socioeconomics. Wisconsin is one of the seven landmark states where the surveying stays tight. Harris, however, has gotten a portion of her best surveying from the Badger State. Harris received 52% of the likely vote, while Trump received 48% in the most recent survey conducted by the reputable Marquette University Law School. A normal of late surveys from Marquette, CBS News, YouGov and CNN SSRS has Harris up by four. A four-point advantage isn't wide and can without much of a stretch be overwhelmed by Trump, yet it stands apart among the other key swing states. Harris and Trump will more often than not be nearer in the other six milestone states, Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. Also, the four-point Harris edge is superior to Biden's triumphant edge in Wisconsin in 2020, 0 0.6 focuses. That result was not even close to the advantage he had in state polls before the election. The Badger State surveys likewise misjudged Clinton four years sooner so much that she turned into the principal leftist to lose Wisconsin starting around 1984. The way that the Selzer survey is demonstrating a comparable change in support of Harris in Iowa makes me think the Wisconsin surveys might be on to something. Presently, a success by Harris in Wisconsin wouldn't promise her triumph by any stretch. She would need to win at least two of the remaining six battleground states even if you gave her the state's 10 electoral votes and the states that already favored her. Conveying Wisconsin, be that as it may, would work on Harris's possibilities winning. Rather than the race being approximately 50-50, most modelers would allow her more like a 75% opportunity of winning in the event that she won Wisconsin. That is a major change in Harris's course. In any case, a 75% opportunity of triumph isn't an assurance of anything. Trump's possibility winning would essentially be the same opportunity of a coin arrival on heads in two back-to-back -back throws. This Selzer survey could likewise be an exception, and much could change among now and final voting day. Selzer's September 2020 survey was much better to Biden, showing a tie, than its last overview that year. However, the ongoing survey is an obviously better outcome than the past Selzer study from June, when Biden was still in the race. It had Trump up by 18. The main concern? You'd much prefer have the Selzer survey in your corner than not. What's more, at the present time, the study shows an improved outcome for Harris than it did eventually for one or the other Clinton or Biden.